In this video, I am going to show you three code snippets that you should try on your website. I am going to show you how easy it is to add code snippets onto your WordPress website and find code snippets from other developers that you can use if you are just beginning. So let's get right into it. The first thing you would want to do is go onto your WordPress website and scroll down where it says plugins and make sure that you have WP code installed. If you don't, click on add new, search for WP code. You can just install it here and activate it. WP code allows you to easily add code snippets into your WordPress website and also ensures that your code does not crash your website, making it very safe. Now, once it's activated, go to your left and you should see code snippet. Now you're going to click on that and at the very top, you're going to add your own code. So click on use snippet right here where it says add your custom code. For the first code snippet, we are going to remove the admin bar and removing the admin bar allows us to see our website as is without any distractions at the top or bottom. So for example, if you go into your website, you click on visit site, you might see that your admin bar is at the very top and this can prevent you from seeing your website as is. So we are going to disable that. So for the title, we are going to name it disable admin bar and it will be a PHP snippet. So we are going to change that. Now we're just going to paste this code in here. We're going to leave a comment, remove the admin bar from the front. So now we're just going to paste the code in here and you can pause this video if you need to copy it. Scroll down and for the insert method, we are going to auto insert. We're going to run it everywhere. Scroll down and we're going to click on any device type. So leave it as is. And at the very bottom where it says basic info for the tag, we're going to click on admin. For the note, we can type in remove admin bar. And now all you have to do is save the snippet, activate it, now update it. And once it's updated and active, you can see that the admin bar is disabled on your website. Now we're going to add another snippet. And again, click on add your custom code, click on use snippet. And now we're going to add our own short code. So add Adding a short code in WordPress allows us to easily replace it with some other content. So for example, if we want to make sure that our text is always updated with the current year, we can use a short code to do that. So for this code snippet, we are going to name it year short code and it will be a PHP snippet. And you can just copy this code and scroll down and leave everything as is. Remember, you can also pause if you need to copy the code snippet. And we are going to name it short code, add the note as create a short code or current year. We're going to save the snippet. We can turn on activate and now we can update. You can go to your website and if you click on edit with Elementor, you can add in brackets year, update that. And now when you go onto your website, you can see that the year changes to the current year. So short codes are very helpful when it comes to WordPress websites and you can use it to add dynamic content into your website. Lastly, we're going to add a code snippet that allows us to change the excerpt link so we can title it and you pause this video again if you need to copy this. For this code snippet, you can choose the number of words you want to display in the excerpt. So I will enter in 100 and you can scroll down, leave everything as is. And for tag, I am going to type in excerpt and for no, change excerpt link. And now I'm going to save the snippet and I'm going to turn on active and update. If you go back to your website and edit, the number of words that will be displayed in the excerpt that you have written will be 100 or any other number that you have inserted here. If there's a mistake in your code, WP code will not activate your code and instead show you an error, which ensures the safety of your code. Now, if you want to find more code snippets that you can use on your website, you can go into WP codes library and browse through all the code snippets that they have here for free. You could search and use for code snippets for WordPress in your browser and go through any of these links to find other code snippets that you can use on your WordPress website that was developed by other developers. And that's it. That's how easy it is is to add code snippets onto your website and also how you can find other code snippets made by other developers. You can check out our other videos on how to build websites as well as learn some cool tricks and tips. You can also use the links that we have provided down below and use the codes for a great discount. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want more videos like this.